Hey everybody, time for another flip through video. Uh, sorry about the desk, it's a little messy, but Clorox wipes are being conserved now. And uh, my little daughter has been in here coloring on my desk while I'm working from home. So this is reality right now. It is April 2020 and I'm in my Filofax Malden pocket size in the color ochre. Same as always, I love it. Um, and we're gonna do a flip through today, like I said. So let's begin with, see the pen loop is where I keep my little Muji gel pen, uh, 0.05, I think. These are new dividers. And I've been sort of putting off, like showing you in depth, but I got a set of dividers. There's six side tabs, three top tabs, and then the front fly leaf. These are all separate products. Um, so those are the three things I ordered from Marlene's plan to create letter uh, number two on Etsy. Agnes was, I'll show you more. She got into my planner and was coloring a little bit. So there's like a little bit of ink along the edges here that I think I need to try to wash off. But um, I put, uh, you have to personalize it with a word. And I chose the word because I had to be one word chose the word now it sort of means a couple of different things to me when it's like this front section is my like re like look at it now work on it now section where I keep my next action items and stuff but also it's supposed to be like hey get off your butt do it now and then also like be in the moment so all of those things I thought were incorporated into this one little word it's a lot more mushy than I usually tend to be um, Hey, if I was allowed to put everything, I would have put do the dumb things you got to do. But uh, I've got a cover here. Uh, I did obviously my April play with me, so you can watch that video. Um, this is just kind of a collage of random bits of washi tape and stickers that kind of look good under here because this is like first thing when I open it up. Here's the April monthly. This is a Peanuts Planner Co. inserts. I want to say 96 and 133, but that could be completely wrong because I'm just guessing. Um, but if that's wrong and you need me to look it up, I can look it up for you. Just comment below. Um, there are only a couple of like events. I marked Easter and the Triduum here and then things that have been like canceled and whatever. But I do have doctor's appointments still. And then these are the uh, date specific tasks that I have. And these are non date specific next action items. I've been doing pretty good on these the last week or so. I'm uh, feeling pretty good about it. And I'm going to do a video. I think hopefully next Thursday's video is going to explain the process that I've been using of finally tackling a couple of these. It works for me. This is my bra tracker. Let's fill out today's filming this on the 14th. Um, this is just how I keep track of when my bras, bras need to be washed. I've done lots of videos about that. Um, this is where I keep track of the one line a day journal where I have to journal a little bit every day. Have to. I like to. And so this tells me which days I've already filled out. Sometimes I do them kind of in batch, like up to a week at a time. I was feeling really kind of stressed about my planner and I felt like I wasn't flipping through it enough or like I was missing something. There was this nagging feeling that I was missing something in here. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna write down a list of all the different things that I need to check in my planner whenever I'm looking at it or once a day or whatever. And it turned out to be actually a very short list. So that made me feel better. Um, this all my routines insert from my summer touch. Um, I have not been looking at it because life has been upside down lately. So right now it's just holding the sticky note. Um, at some point I'll probably redo it again, but, um, that's, yeah, it's just still here cause it fits. My waiting on list. One person suggested that I use this for, um, things to talk to my husband about, like when we're together, <laughs> we're together all the time now. There's something I need to talk to him about. Anyway, it's also a list of things to do once society has rebuilt itself. <laughs> I need a new battery for my watch. Um, cause it's starting to get to the point where it'll like stop for a while and then come back. Um, it's working right now, but, uh, I need to go to the watch battery place and it is probably not open right now. Someday maybe list I'm trying to take a look at stabbing a couple of these, uh, tasks while I'm at home more often and working from home. So these divider tabs are great. I love that they're thin or that they're, um, translucent. They're made of plastic. So they're like washable and stuff and they're not gonna like fray right um but also you can kind of set up like a uh, 
cover page for everything. And so I set up my cover page for April just with my Tom, um, sorry, Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. My daughter um, <laughs> came into, like, I she was in the office. I was working on my planner. I set down the planner and I walked away. And then she came and found me later and she said, Mommy Planner. And I was like, did you mess with my planner? And she didn't answer me. And yes, she did. She colored on a couple of my pages. So now it is decorated by my one-year-old. So these are my week on a fold outs from my summer touch. Uh, let's begin. Beginning of April here. Um, I chose purple, as you can tell, for this month's theme. And it's very, very purple. I was using like a little tracker here to kind of keep track of some of the things I wanted to try to do every day while I was working from home. Kind of fell off the wagon towards the end there. Decided I didn't need the tracker anymore um, after a while either. I'm doing all of my content planning on like in my main planner again um, and I like having it all in one place and gives me something to fill out this larger weekly on. I'm thinking it might be time if not like next week then next month at least, uh, moving on to a different, slightly smaller weekly. Um, oh, by the way, I'm only not wearing my wedding ring because I like to keep it off so I can put lotion on more often. Um, so that's, nothing's wrong. It's right over there. Uh, let's see. I, these are starving artist stamps on Etsy. I don't like the way that they look colored in, <laughs> but I needed to do a lot of laundry that day. It was like time sensitive because it was like pajamas. I needed to have them washed and dry by the end of the day, you know? Uh, I was just taking notes on like where we were gonna, where we were going for our different Holy Week events. Um, basically all the different live streams we were gonna watch. Um, I got a lot of things off my to-do list because Good Friday and Holy Saturday are just kind of empty days and it seems like a good time to like do some stuff, you know, or at Labora. Um, and I've also been keeping track of the food that we have, uh, basically like what we could cook with what we have. So that's what's under the dinner heading. Um, and this is, yeah, this is the current weekly. This is this sec, this whole flap here is why I'm thinking we need to move to something without a flap because I don't need all of this space. If there are no events, we have a weekly, um, faith formation hangout or it's on go to meeting um, and everything else is pretty much like no yeah so that's the weeks um, I've got next week's also here here ready to go I've got a couple no I don't I had some dailies printed out but I don't have I guess I use them all up so uh, let's keep moving the next tab I have this little um, Harry Potter sticker and there is my cover page this is my inbox so it just has some notes. I haven't actually used this in a while and I think because these pages I don't need anymore because I haven't been using Hermione, um, I think I need to remake my inbox. So, but it's still there. That's where that is. Uh, next section is projects. I want to make a cover page for this section. I haven't yet. This is the uh, sticky note index of this section. So it's kind of, it's, it's Projects and reference. The front part is reference. So these are the library books that are checked out or when I check them out. Um, some that I'd like to check out sometime. <laughs> Never, probably. Um, lists of dinner ideas. Uh, my to watch list. Gift ideas. And my own personal wish list. And then this is where we come to the top tabs. So these are also, these are all from Marlene's plan to create. So the idea is to like have three different projects in here at a time. So the front section is reference and then it's three projects. So the first project is house stuff. So this is like the backyard and it kind of shows, I think it looks good as a cover page, um, but I need to do something with this. I don't know, maybe just not, but yeah. So this is what I would like our backyard to look like someday. Then um, this is a list of things that I need to mend and I needed to write it down somewhere, so there it is. This is my current knitting project that I recently started. So I copied down the pattern. This is gonna be a baby blanket um, for the new baby. And I copied down the pattern here so that I'd have it handy. And then here is where I'm keeping track of, like, row counting. I'm counting rows. Um, 
It also kind of lets me kind of visualize. The red marks are for a quarter of the project done, and the green marks are like if I stayed on a consistent schedule. This is how where I need to be by the end of actually the end of April. I'm supposed to be here, so I'm a little behind. But um, yeah, that that's what that is. I, I kind of like checking things off as I go. You know, we all do. Next section is financial. So I've got um, this is my PNL for my YouTube channel. So whenever I get like an AdSense payment or have to pay something for my blog hosting or whatever, that's on here. Um, this is sort of a wish list of if I had all the money in the world for my channel. Um, and then this is where I keep track of my rewards gift cards that I have. They're like a, or you know, gift Visa gift cards that I'm using to pay for Patreon subscriptions and stuff. So that's just keeping track of what the balance is right now. This next, the third tab, the third project is health and pregnancy. So first of all, this divider, I just, I still love this photo. This is from um, Agnes's first Christmas season. This is just a yearly overview and I wrote the weeks I am. So right now we're currently in uh, April 14th. I am 18 weeks. I'm always forgetting. I have a toddler. <laughs> Health log. This is from my summer touch and I really like it um, as far as like not having, not feeling like I need to use it, but feeling like I can use it and it's very simple. I like that. Then future appointments is just a log of appointments that I have coming up. Everything is in the air, but we've got our anatomy skin next week and I'm excited. A uh, list of questions and some various notes for things. Um, appointment related notes. Then this guy is my New Year's resolution tracker. Um, I decided just for my New Year's resolution this year to get fit, be a little bit more healthy. And so um, the first, I mean, I've, I've talked about this insert before, but you can see this is what it looks like right now as of beginning of April. Um, I have my weight at the beginning of the month. You see I'm finally over my pre-pregnancy weight, which is good now that I'm in the second trimester, I want to be gaining. Um, this goal kind of failed, this goal kind of failed, but I've been doing Mama Strong, did a video about that, loving it, it's been going great. Um, I've skipped a couple days, like I, I missed it on Sunday and the last two Sundays. Easter, I was like, I'm not even going to try to exercise on Easter. But then I really felt unmotivated on Monday. I was just too tired. Next section is all of my uh, content stuff, all the ganji stuff. I still love this little remember to save sticker from, uh, now I don't remember, I can never remember the name of the shop that I got that from Comic-Con. Um, this is my schedule, my video schedule. And the, let's see, I think the rest of the year is somewhere. I have it printed out somewhere. I need to find it because it's gonna be time to start planning for May pretty soon. Um, and also this needs to be redone. It's all in um, friction ink so that I can erase it and redo it and I've moved a couple videos around and haven't updated this so I'm not the best at keeping track of it. Um, this is a video ideas list and on the back of it are more video ideas. I have them categorized on this categorized list. When I say more video ideas, I don't know, this is how I had it printed out. <laughs> so it's on the back instead of on the front. Um, I have them categorized by Thursday, Sunday, or blog. So like those are the three categories of ideas. This goal planning insert, I haven't been using. I don't know, I haven't been using this section very much because I've mostly just been moving things to my weekly and working off that. So, uh, and then this last, I guess it's the fifth tab, but it's sort of the last section is um, my future log. So here it is, everything's still kind of crossed off. Um, things are up in the air. This highlighter is showing my proposed maternity leave dates. And then um, this is the overflow future log. So for next year and then for anything after that, birthdays and anniversaries, recurring tasks. So check in with this whole section once a month. Then this last section is just spare paper. So I have a couple of extra sticky notes here that can be reused. A couple of these sticky dailies that I can use and then some 
lines paper, some grid paper. I probably don't need to keep that much in here because I'm at home all the time. I can just run to the office and grab something new. I don't need to carry it around with me. You know, the whole concept of an everyday carry. And so for the same reason, um, there's still these stickers that I keep forgetting are here, but they're like punched, so they just stay here. Everything else sticker-wise has been moved out of here to kind of slim it down, minimize it a little bit, um, and put them um, just in my office so that I can access them, you know, if I need them, but I don't have to have them in here. I do have my page flags and the little washi cutter card that I use. Nothing in here, and actually there are still stickers in the back here. Same ones, a little bit of cash and a couple of checks. So that, I haven't cleared everything out, but uh, that's what's going on in here right now. So, if that was long enough for you, Hope you enjoyed this month's video. I'm very excited about my new dividers. I love them. I hope that you think they're cool too. If you do, they are from Mylene's Plan to Create on Etsy. And follow me on Instagram because I post pictures of all of this stuff. And I tag the shops that I know about um, when I post photos. So you can always check there as well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed, subscribe and like and ring the bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.